Department of Commerce and the National Anthem. We will proceed with the program as printed. Division leaders, faculty, and staff, graduates, and guests. This journey at Drake State has been an extraordinary and one of the most humbling I have been I have ever experienced. I'm most thankful for the faculty and staff involved in the process to get us right here where we are today. I can remember the day that I made the decision to start my journey to college. I realized that I had to shift the cycle for the family that I created, my two girls. 
In the beginning, I had many days of contemplating. How could I separate from my job, which was the lifeline to support my family? What I did not know is that God had already began to put the people in position to make sure that we were taken care of. Miss Darlene Hampton, I would like to thank you for taking me under your wing. You saw the passion in me and showed me the ropes, which has played a major part in where I am today. I remember sitting in the admissions office, literally in tears, thinking, how can I go to college full time? How can I work full time? And most importantly, be a full time parent. She asked me, what type of work are you currently doing? I replied, I've been doing CSR work, which is customer service representative work for the last 10 years. She said, you know exactly how to work well with people and we're looking for a new student worker. She explained the details of what was expected from the student worker and I thought to myself, I can handle that with ease. So I applied. Needless to say, I quit my full-time job to pursue my education and began working in the admissions office that summer 2019 as a student worker. Long story short, in these last two years, I had so many things that could have made me just give up. God gave me some incredible strength and a testimony that I will continue to build on. So guess what? I kept going. Fast forward to the beginning of spring 2020, COVID. <laughs> like why? As if the world needed this crisis. We are all affected in a tremendous way. And I want us to not forget the many people that has lost their life and the many people that are still overcoming, overcoming this wave. As we continue to strive into the present, I ask that you take these small notes. First note, John 15 verse 5 states, I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Classmates, as you continue to travel in these forthcoming days, I encourage you to always remain true to yourself and put your trust in God because in him, all things are possible. Like Henry Ford said, if you think you can, or you think you can't, you're exactly right. Always believe in yourself. Second note, remember to help others as you make your way. Be proactive in your community, make your voice heard, for many will never have the opportunity. We have accomplished something so well deserving. You now have the tools, the knowledge, and the ability to make a difference. In the great words of Denzel Washington, don't aspire just to make a living, aspire to make a difference. As we walk out of here today, think about what can you do in your life to make a difference? You now have more, one more item at your disposal to make a change. Class of 2021, remember that no matter what, keep standing, don't judge, be kind, show up early, as there is always someone watching, make sure you're that perfect example. Finally, Nightingale had the perfect definition for success. A person is successful if they know where they are, know where they're going, and are progressively moving in that direction. Continue to move in the direction of success as you have already proven to be on the right path. Thank you for joining us here today. Thank you. Good morning, class of 2021. It is my pleasure as the fourth president of Drake State Community and Technical College to welcome graduates and those watching virtually, parents, loved ones, well-wishers, faculty, staff, and alumni to the 2021 commencement ceremony. To commence means to begin anew. And we're here to acknowledge your completion of a goal and to celebrate your new beginnings. Class of 2021, I want to congratulate you also for being the first class to have your graduation ceremony here on the campus of Drake State Community and Technical College. Congratulations, we are excited for you. 
this is an exciting time in the life of the college. And we want you to know, graduates, that we applaud your efforts and we wait with great anticipation to see your future successes. I'd like to make some acknowledgments. I'd first like to acknowledge our graduates who are veterans or in active service members, our retired service members, or a dependent of a veteran. If you fit in one of those categories, please stand and be recognized. Thank you for your service. We would also like to recognize and congratulate our students that are graduating with honors. The Presidential Superlative Award is awarded to Drake students who have maintained a 4.0 GPA average during their entire tenure here at the college. Presidential Superlative Award recipients, please stand. Congratulations. We'd also like to recognize individuals who are participating in our dual enrollment program. This program provides students the opportunity to graduate with certificates. Dual enrollment students, please stand to be recognized. I would also like to acknowledge any elected officials and members of the Drake State foundation board and advisory boards who have joined us virtually. We thank you for your support. I'd also like to recognize Colonel Diane Ritchie and the Lee High School Army JROTC General Battalion for their participation in this morning's ceremony. Also our mace bearer, Mr. Lardell Goodlow, and our marshals, Mr. Ed Forbes, Mr. Ray Saunders, Mr. Jody Slay, and Mr. Russell Wynn. We also have the administrators, faculty, and staff at Drake State Community and Technical College. Thank you all for making this a real possibility, a reality for our students, and for all that you do for the college. And this program would not have been possible without Dr. Monica Hawkins and the graduation committee. So please join me in thanking all of these individuals for making today's program possible. So as we begin this very important part of our, the most exciting part of our commencement ceremony, actually, I would like to give you students a few directives. When your name is called, you will be directed to the stage to my left. You will be greeted by the Dean of Instruction, Dr. Carolyn Henderson, and the Dean of Students, Dr. Nicole Bell. As you approach to receive your diploma, I will hold the diploma on the right side and you will hold the diploma on the left side so that the photographer can take our photo and then you will exit the stage to the right. We are having a no touch ceremony and so we want to take all precautions to keep everyone in our community here at the college safe. So thank you in advance for your understanding and your cooperation. And at this time, I invite the follow following individuals to the podium in the order outlined in your program. The Interim Director of Adult Education, Mr. Kent Ballard. Advanced Manufacturing Division, Mr. Lardell Goodlow. The Applied Services Division's Representative Ms. Department Chair, Mrs. Kelly Williams. Business Com Computer Information Systems and Engineering Technologies, Dr. Dolores Smothers. General and Developmental Studies, Mr. Kent Ballard. Health Science Technologies, Dr. Alice Raymond. Please join me on the stage in that order. We will now conduct the presentation of General Education Diploma Awards. Will the General Education Diploma, GED, candidates please stand? President Sims, these candidates have successfully completed the requirements for the General Education Diploma. These candidates are now eligible to enroll at Drake State or other institutions of higher education. Based on the recommendation of the adult education faculty of J.F. Drake State Community and Technical College, I present these candidates for their awards. Will the faculty marshals please bring the candidates forward?
Jasmine Wilson. Jessica Zuniga. Trayvon Benjamin. Chelsea Anderson. Chalisa Anderson. President Sims, we will now conduct the presentation of graduates. Will the candidates for certificate program please stand? Will the candidates for the Associate in Applied Science degree please stand? Will the candidates for the Associate in Science degree please stand? Will the candidates for the Associate in Arts degree please stand? Will the uh, candidates in the Associate in Applied Sciences please stand? President Sims, these students have successfully completed the course requirement as outlined by the Alabama Community College System. Based on the recommendation of faculty of J.F. Drake State Community and Technical College, we present these candidates for their awards. Sorry, please be seated. We will now present the candidates for Advanced Manufacturing Division, Electrical Technology, Engineering Design, Machine Tooling Technology, Welding Technology, Automotive Technology, Engineering Graphic Technology. Will the faculty marshals please bring the candidates forward. Advanced Manufacturing. Jordan Crandall, Advanced Manufacturing Welding, Associate in Applied Science. Chris Calhoun, Advanced Manufacturing Welding, Associate in Applied Science.
Heidi Ninja, Najai, <laughs> I'm sorry, Engineering Design Short Certificate. Dayton Mason, Engineering Design, Associate's Degree. Portia Orr, Advanced Manufacturing Mechanical Design Fundamentals, Associate Science Degree. Tony Drummond, Electrical Technology, Associate in Applied Science degree. Greta Kircher, Advanced Manufacturing and Welding, Associate in Applied Science. Stephen O'Rourke, Advanced Manufacturing Automotive Service, Associate in Applied Science. <laughs> Mark Pratt, Advanced Manufacturing Automotive Te Service Technician, Associate in Applied Science. Edward Stanford, Advanced Manufacturing Welding, Associate Applied Science. Devin Person, Advanced Manufacturing Welding, Advanced Manufacturing, Associate Applied Science, sorry. Nathan Irving, Advanced Manufacturing Welding, Associate Degree. Donald Gibbings, Advanced Manufacturing Welding, Associate in Applied Science. Dustin Ellis, Advanced Manufacturing Welding, Associate Applied Science. Colin Curtis, Advanced Manufacturing Welding, Associate Applied Science. We will now present the candidates for the Applied Services Technology Division, Culinary Arts, Hospitality Management, and Salon Management. Will the faculty marshals please bring the candidates forward? Rachel Howard, Associate Degree in Salon Management, Short-Term Certificate in Natural Hair. Congratulations, 
Alexandra Burden, Associate Degree in Salon Management. Jennifer Martin, Associate Degree, Culinary Arts. Bonetta Fuller, Culinary Arts, Associate of Applied Science. Brenda Embry, Associate Degree and Short-Term Certificate in Culinary Arts, Hospitality Service Management. Heather Burhans, Short-Term Certificate Culinary Arts and Hospitality Service Management. <laughs> Trelanda Tate, Salon Management, Instructor Training, Short Term Certificate. <laughs> Jamise Willis, Salon Management, Aesthetics, Short-Term Certificate. <laughs> Natalie Baez, Salon Management, Nail Care, Short-Term Certificate. Kedra Sales, Salon Management, Nail Care, Short-Term Certificate. Congratulations, Kedra. Andrea Shelton, Salon Management, Natural Hair, Short-Term Certificate. Talia Williams, Salon Management, Natural Hair, Short-Term Certificate. Antonio Brock, Salon Management, Barbering Certificate. Isaiah Marsh, Salon Management, Barbering Certificate. Jacoby Jones, Salon Management, Barbering Short-Term Certificate. We will now present the candidates for the Business, Computer Science, and Engineering Technologies Division, Accounting Technology, General Business, Business Management, Computer Information Systems Technology. 
will the faculty marshal please bring the amazing candidates <laughs> for the business <laughs> department forward, please. Bobby Reedus, Business Administration Management, Associates of Applied Science. <laughs> Shanika Baker, Business Administration Management, Associate of Applied Science. Ashley Robinson, Business Administration Management, Short Certificate, and Associate's Degree. David King, Accounting Technology, Short Certificate. Marcy Mueller, Business Administration, Accounting, Associates of Applied Science. Solomon Teague, Business Administration, General Business, Short Certificate. Markeisha Little, Business Administration, General Business, Associate of Applied Science. Priyanka Davis, Associate's Degree, Business Administration. Kishna Woods, Business Administration Management, Associate of Applied Science. <laughs> Amanda Burns, Business Administration Entrepreneurship Certificate. Shaheen Barrett, Computer Information System, Associate of Applied Science. Congratulations. Go Raven! Raven Dickerson, Computer Information Systems, Associate of Applied Science. <laughs> Laurel Green, Computer Information Systems, Associate of Applied Science. Congratulations. 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 
Anthony Hernandez, Computer Information Systems Associate of Applied Science. Keith Moskowitz, Computer Information Systems Associate of Applied Science. Tyreek Nettles, Computer Information Systems Associate in Applied Science. LaVorge Townsend, Computer Information Systems Associate in Applied Science. LaMarcus Hedgeman, Short Certificate Cybersecurity. <laughs> Olicia Strong, Computer Information System Cybersecurity, Short Term Certificate. Leo Curry, Short Certificate, Network Administration and Computer Science. We will now present the candidates for the General and Developmental Education Division, the Associate in Science and Associate in Arts degrees. Will the faculty marshals please bring the candidates forward? Rhonda Lewis, General Studies, Associate in Arts. Tiffany Kirkpatrick, General Studies, Associate of Arts. Bailey Jemison, General Studies, Short Term Certificate. <laughs> Zakia Cothran, General Studies, Applied Associates of Art. We will now present the candidates for the Health Sciences Division, Medical Assisting Technology, Registered Nursing, and Practical Nursing. Faculty Marshals, please bring these candidates, the preservers of human health and well-being, forward.
Micah Adkins, Medical Assistant, Associate in Applied Science. Brittany Bell, Medical Assistant, Administrative, Short-Term Certificate. Salem Dutton, Medical Assistant, Associate in Applied Science. Shalonda Wade, Medical Assistant, Administrative, Short-Term Certificate. LaQuanta Garner, Medical Assistant, Administrative Short Certificate. Sierra Lewis, Medical Assistant, Phlebotomy Short Term Certificate. Veronica Sears, Medical Assistant, Associate in Applied Science. Mercedes McDonald, Medical Assistant, Administrative, Short-Term Certificate. Amber Messer, Medical Assistant, Phlebotomy, Medical Assistant, Administrative, Short-Term Certificate. Tony Hobbs, Medical Assistant, Administrative, Short-Term Certificate. Eugenia Harris, Registered Nursing, Associate Degree in Nursing. Kendra Love Sanford, Registered Nursing, Associate Degree in Nursing. Monica Tisdale, Registered Nursing, Associate Degree in Nursing. Tiffany M. Harkey, Registered Nursing, Associate Degree in Nursing. Joy L. Gordon, Registered Nursing, Associate Degree in Nursing. Laricia Cotton, Registered Nursing, Associate Degree in Nursing. Lawanda Moore Banks, Registered Nursing, Associate Degree in Nursing.
that concludes the presentations of candidates. Will the candidates please rise? President Sims, I am pleased to present these candidates for the conferring of their de degrees, of their awards. Students, in accordance with the authority vested in me by the state of Alabama and the Alabama Community College System Board of Trustees, I now pronounce you to be graduates of J.F. Drake State Community and Technical College with all the rights and privileges associated with your award. Graduates, you may now turn your tassels to the left. Congratulations. Please join me in congratulating our 2021 class of graduates. I will now invite Ms. Andrea Bradford to the lectern for the alumni induction ceremony. What an awesome responsibility. You are already standing, so I won't ask you to stand. For those people who are not standing and you'd like to stand as well, feel free so that we can welcome these graduates into the Alumni Association. It is my duty my honor and sacred task to congratulate you and induct you into the Alumni Association of Drake State Community and Technical College. The legacy and light of Drake State Community and Technical College shines as a beacon throughout the world. Our legacy is deep and strong. Our legacy is regal and righteous. Our legacy does not stand in any shadow. Our beloved Drake State is lifted by her legacy. And in that legacy, she is a bright light that shines throughout this nation and to distant shores. The Drake State alumni body carries this legacy and bears this light. As students, you have been the focus of Drake State's goals and objectives. Now on this day, you transition from students to alumni. Therefore, as Drake State alumni, you are charged with the following responsibilities. <laughs> you thought you were going to get off easy. As alumni and Drakeites, it is your responsibility to help in the work of carrying Drake State's legacy and light into any career, educational pursuit, an entrepreneurial endeavor that you undertake, always remembering our motto that our graduates work. As alumni and Drakeites, as you emerge fulfilling your dreams and aspirations, it is your responsibility to represent this, your alma mater, with utmost integrity. As alumni and Drakeites, Upon your graduation, it is your responsibility to commit to replacing yourselves and your passion with the brightest and most ambitious of new Drake State students who are seeking knowledge and technical expertise. As alumni and Drakeites, it is your responsibility to support Drake State by giving back. Give of your time. Give financially to support the mission, vision, and growth of your dear old Drake. And wherever possible, create opportunities for Drake State students. As alumni and Drakeites, you are reminded that you represent the result of Drake State's mission 
and the embodiment of its spirit in the world. You are dear old Drake. And so, Drakeites, you have heard your individual and collective responsibilities. And now, as a graduate of this institution, here is your question. Will you uphold these responsibilities and keep this your solemn pledge to your beloved alma mater? Please respond by saying, I will. <laughs> and so, by the power vested in me, I now declare that you are fully inducted members of the Drake State Community and Technical College Alumni Association with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations appertaining thereunto. <laughs> Congratulations to you, the graduating class of 2021. You may be seated. We have to be excited to be, about being an alumni after that, Mrs. Bradford. So thank you so much for conducting the alumni, for the alumni induction ceremony. Again, congratulations to the class of 2021. We want to thank each of you for sharing in our graduation ceremony this morning. We know that it would not be possible without honoring the individuals that show their continued love and support to each of our graduates daily. So graduates, please applaud your parents, your spouses, your children, your family, your friends, and support system. Thank you for supporting the graduates. And graduates, finally, we encourage you to continue to tell your Drake State story. We expect nothing but great things from you and ask that you continue to support the college by continuing your membership in the Alumni Association for years to come. And I ask also that you stay in touch. We love to hear from you and to learn and know of your continued successes. Remember, wherever your journey leads you, today is the beginning, your start, your future. So congratulations again to all of our graduates. This concludes our commencement program. Graduates and audience, please stand for the singing of the Drake State Hymn. You will find the words of the hymn on, printed on the back of your graduation program so that you can sing along. Immediately following the singing of the Drake State Hymn, we will have the recessional. Spread. 